Hi folks, so I came across this article on a bleeping computer that I think is worthy of a little bit of discussion. Now I found this, this was posted on Mastodon, uh, where I am like most of the time these days, and um, I thought, you know, uh, I'd, uh, I'd take a look at it with you folks, because it illustrates something that I think is something that, that I've been expecting and we've been looking towards for a while now, which is the sort of the inshittification of YouTube. We've seen other services uh, basically degrade over time as shareholders in that company want to make more and more of a profit, or in fact, sometimes a profit at all, because a lot of these social media enterprises are not exactly uh, profitable. And um, it seems that like there is this trend of like Instagram being one where it's getting more and more difficult to actually like view an image on Instagram without logging in. Uh, Twitter, now X, is now bringing in features that are trying to goad you into to logging in. It seems that every site that you visit these days wants you to have an account. YouTube, for a while, was actually quite, and still to a degree, is not too bad at this, where you can just give someone a link, they might not have a Google account, they might not have a YouTube account, and they could just, just watch it without too much of an issue. And... Um, it seems, according to this this bleeping computer article, which has some you know people contesting it in the in the comment section of this particular article. So I will put, of course put the the link to this article down in the description below, and you can read it and check it out for yourself. But it always felt like like YouTube was a little bit slower or further back on the inshittification curb. And for those of you that don't know, inshittification is like a new slang term that sort of come around late twenty twenty three. Uh, 2024, where it basically means that a service that we have go grown used to using for a long time starts to become a little bit more uh, money grubbing, uh, starts offering less and charging more, maybe starts putting in adverts where there weren't some before, starts making you sign in when previously you didn't, that that kind of thing. And YouTube always seemed a little bit slower to, to do that over time. And, and YouTube always, almost always, in a lot of cases, felt like a little bit of an internet public service to a degree, to a degree. It's like a vibe, right? And we all kind of suspected, we all kind of had that, that knew that the writing was on the wall, that that wasn't really the case, that, that YouTube was eventually going to sort of close that noose uh, in the same way that Amazon do and that Instagram do and, and, and all the others do. And you know, it is that kind of bait and switch, isn't it? A, a company offers what appears to be great value for money on the surfaces while acting as a lost leader. And then before you know it, you gradually decline into basically being overcharged for subpar services, right? Now, YouTube, to me, as far as I'm concerned, is kind of magic, right? Anyone can host almost any amount of video in high def about whatever they want, providing it's vaguely advertiser friendly and fits within a relatively broad set of terms and, and, and guidelines. Yes, a lot of YouTubers will holler about the monetization aspect, about about ad friendliness and, and demonetization, that. But for like the majority of people who are just putting out YouTube videos for fun, I don't know how many of us there are still now, uh, it, 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 it's less of an issue because it's not like my video is going to get too suppressed. And let's be honest, these videos don't get the kind of views where it even really matters at this point. In fact, to be honest, for those of you watching this on YouTube, this isn't even the place where I make most of my video content anymore. It's just not so, it's not fun here. It's not fun here. It's turning into television. It's like I look down my list of subscribers. I love subscribing to smaller YouTuber creators. And they're not putting out, like every YouTuber creator I know has just like, is left. They're either streaming on Twitch, live streaming, where there's a lot more like community interaction, or they're just not making videos anymore. And the only people I see making videos on YouTube, for the most part, are like professional YouTubers, people with millions, or at the very least, hundreds of thousands of subscribers, and have like a procedure for generating content that is, you know, almost in step with television, like reliable, scheduled, uh, consistent content, very much the opposite of this channel, where I put up a video whenever I feel like I've got something to say and can be asked to say it in front of a camera. And uh, it does seem, you know, as the months go by and as the years go by, that YouTube is, is just not the place it used to be and it's not a place for me. A lot of people who would otherwise you'd think of as YouTube vloggers have moved to TikTok. I did have a go at making a couple of TikTok videos and whilst I was getting quite a decent number of views, it's a shit place. It's horrible. It it The algorithm itself consistently saps at your mental health. It um, is, it's a kid's, uh, sort of network as well. I'm too old for that shit, you know? It's just like, no, 
No, and it's all mobile focus. I'm not a mobile kind of guy, and a lot of people who watch my content, a lot of you guys, you're not. It's okay if you do. No, no shade. But like, I don't. Need, I'm not even that fond of laptops. Like, I like a proper computer. Side note: I'm sorry about the glare on my glasses, but I, you know, I'm, I'm not. I'm not jumping through hoops to get to to uh, for you guys. <laughs> um, but yeah, most of the time now, like my the favorite video content that I'm making, it's over there on the Fediverse. It's over there. On, uh, on Peertube. It's an uh, open source peer-to-peer -peer video sharing network that you can subscribe to through either RSS or you can scribe, subscribe to it through through Macedon or you could subscribe to it just through another Peertube account. It's, uh, it's, it's very easy. I would recommend those of you that are watching this would probably be better off just subscribing through Mastodon. It's just easy that way. Um, and I will put all my links to whatever work I'm uh, sort of making progress on, on my website, which will also be linked on this channel. It'll be on the channel page. Sometimes I'll put it in the description. Um, so yeah, like follow me in the Fediverse because that's that's basically where it's, it's fun to make content now. It's not wall-to-wall -wall AI shit. Uh, like you get a lot of that on the, on the, you know the 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 shorts video sites uh it's not rage baiting it's 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 not trying to get you offended so that you're to to farm engagement i'm not trying to sell you something i'm trying to sell you a course i'm not sponsored by better help or raid shadow legends or some kind of men's shaving product none of that stuff um or or or, or g fuel or you know i just i just do this because i want to chat with you guys and and honestly, actually, to be honest, uh, there's a lot of lively conversation over in the Fediverse. I get many more comments on my uh, peer tube videos than, than I do on, on YouTube videos these days. So it's kind of where my heart is. So if you're watching this on YouTube, definitely check out, follow me on Mastodon. That's generally where I just like boost out stuff that I'm working on. Uh, my website's always a pretty good place. And maybe if you're not in the Fediverse, crack open the old RSS reader because you can still watch my videos there or just you know do it the old-fashioned way and periodically visit the the site but um yeah I think I think what I'm going to do now going forward as re regarding all of this is I'm going to start making content for for the Fediverse first and you know it is an open source network that's you know distributed decentralized it's what we wanted so Anyone who advocates for open source should seriously be looking at making that their new home. I think we are, many people are still clinging to this idea of views and fame and the prospects of YouTube. And, and I think now, you know, it's, it's, it's not bad. I watch a lot of YouTube videos, but, and, and even if you're like a small creative studio, then, then there's a place for you here. But if you're just a, a guy in a shed type of thing, it's, it's getting, it's getting harder and harder to be relevant here. You know, TikTok seems to be that place, and I'm sure as hell not not setting up on TikTok. It's it's nothing like what I want to do. I, in some ways, I like the idea of the video short, like a one minute video that kind of loops. Like artistically, that's kind of interesting. I can do that on YouTube. I can do that on Facebook. I could do that on any platform, and that's one of the reasons I kind of like the shorts. Like I could just do a short. I could just post it up on Mastodon. So yeah, follow 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 me along on Mastodon and um, or anywhere in the Fediverse, and and and, and you'll find it. Find find you know what I'm making. But in reality these days i'm making stuff i don't even care if that many what people watch like you know there's like a nice nice group of people that that watch my uh my peer videos thank you for watching you folks and uh and thank you for, for for commenting and and i think that's really um that's really like kind of it and that's kind of why you know it's the conversation that that that, that drives me to to make any kind of video content at all so if you do want to like i don't know support this channel in any way leave a comment particularly in the fediverse um I do sometimes toy, toy with the idea of just turning off comments on YouTube because I, I don't read them as much. I used to read all of them. I used to read every single comment. Now I glance in once a couple, you know, once every month or something. Um, and then I probably log out as soon as I see some something that's slightly awkward. So, yeah, just, uh, you know, it, do, it does kind of feel like like the the personal YouTube channel is is waning and... I think the Fediverse is 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 kind of picking up the slack to the parts of it that we really enjoyed, which is which is something that I really quite like. And this this initiativeification is kind of leading in that term. I mean, maybe YouTube might be a little bit further back in the curve, but it still, need, you know, it's still turning that profit. It still wants to make every penny it can. It's still one of the most successful advertising platforms in the world, and the money is driving the direction of that platform and small creators like myself just don't bring in the bucks. We just don't. 
Uh, if you do watch, if you do see an advert on this on the, on the YouTube channel, um, like that's not great either. That's part of the initiation process because. And let me know if you do because I've turned off. I used to, you know turned off all the advertising off of this channel. I don't make a penny off of it. So any money that's made from advertising on this channel is just goes straight into Google's pocket. So, um, you know, feel free to use an ad blocker if you want. I don't know. I'm not your moral compass. Mm. Good old Ribena. It's nice. So anyway, YouTube stops recommending videos when signed out of Google. So this is this is hardly like the end of the world news, right? It's not the end of time. It's not the end of YouTube, but it is a start of YouTube kind of declining. Uh, not even start of YouTube. I mean, you know, for the last 10 years, YouTube has kind of moved very much in this direction. So YouTube is no longer showing recommended videos to users logged out of a Google account or using incognito mode, making people concerned that they're being bullied into always being signed in to the service. This is this is a Google thing. You know, you do it. They do it on the phones, it's the television, all that kind of stuff. Like it's just leaning in. Uh, to you know, and they and, and they want that. Um, it's not. I don't even know if it's necessary, like the tracking data, because they can do that without you logging in. They can do that with IP addresses, fingerprint, and behavioural patterns. They they're, they're way cleverer than I am on it, any of that kind of stuff. They can sort that stuff out. Uh, but I think a lot of it is once you're like hooked into a system, a little bit like the nightclub philosophy. If you pay a fiver to get into a nightclub, you're less likely to go to the next nightclub because you've you've already committed. A little bit of money even if it's a token amount of money it kind of keeps you there so this change which uh, is now rolling out shows a simple youtube homepage without any videos or tips on what to watch even before even in incognito mode or when not logged in google would still show you video suggestions now users see a message saying get started start watching etc 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 okay so uh bleeping computer did multiple tests different computers uh, but sometimes when youtube rolled these things out they do it by like region by region or like chunks of IP addresses by chunks of IP addresses. So this is never like a science, as it were. It's a very opaque system that we're working with here. So it's not necessarily that this is all a foregone conclusion. Bleeping Computer may very well have, have uh, you know, may not have the ideal methodology here. But yes, um, doesn't show any suggestions. It's, 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 uh, yeah. And also like, yeah, history turning off as well. Uh, you don't see suggestions. And that, that's kind of interesting. I don't know if that necessarily even ties into any kind of privacy law or anything to do with the EU, because you sometimes when the EU uh, applies some legislation or applies some pressure to these big companies, uh, then, then you know, it might be, well, if you're showing channel recommendations uh, based on uh, collected data, then, you know, what's that data being collected? You know, does, does it basically give YouTube an out if the European Union come a knocking saying, how are you getting all this data or what are you using this data for, right? Well, if they opt into a watch history based recommendation algorithm, then uh, then it might sort of be, um, it, it might mitigate them from, from responsibility and blame. So, yes, and Bleeping Computer has reached out to Google to learn about you, uh, the YouTube update, but the reply was not immediately available. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. And there we go. So there's a few people in the comments here that are saying like, oh, this is not new. They've been doing this for a while, etc., etc., etc. But really, it's it does seem that like like YouTube, it, it just seems to be sort of like declining this way. And and it, and it is kind of sh you know it, it is a bit of a shame. But there are other you know other avenues for us, and it allows us to build and create. Uh, PeerTube and the Fediverse, which is, which is a, a wonderful platform that, as chaotic and and untamed as it is, and I understand why it's not for everyone, uh, it is something that 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 you know the open source world you know built from the ground up. It's not at the behest of a billionaire. I'm sorry, but I'm kind of done letting billionaires uh, provide. You know, like. I, I don't want to have to act under the permission of billionaires. It's a horrible thing. You know, like, I don't want to feel like at any moment I'm suddenly going to start getting uh, a bill for 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 something that I've, uh, you know, grown accustomed to, to using for free or that advertising is going to start getting ramped up or the advertising standards might slip and suddenly there are gambling ads on my channel and all this kind of stuff. A little bit of control is what I think... Um, is is worthwhile here and i want to 
shout out particularly uh, my good friend Hamish the Polar Bear, who has allowed me space on his PeerTube instance, which is wonderfully maintained. And um, and there's a few other fantastic characters on that instance as well, not only Hamish, but of course the legendary Ozone. And, uh, and we're all over there just, you know, making videos like we did in 2010 which is which is kind of cool it's kind of nice and yeah maybe i don't get the same number of views but i it's a nice community and it's and and, and i'm not using that that word community in the same way that youtubers use that to describe their fans it's like oh it's the it's the chris ware community it's not it's the free and open source community it's the nerds it's the like it's like it's not any community like i'm just a a member like everyone else in this in this sort of like open sourcey world right um and I, I also kind of like, I kind of like that. I kind of like that dynamic. It's like, you know, uh, some YouTubers try and sort of foster a kind of cultish behavior, don't they? And uh, and, and I'm always glad that because because the, this channel content and, and has always fit into a bigger picture, has always naturally flowed alongside other channels about Linux and open source, and has naturally connected with other channels and other people in the Linux and open source space, that it's never felt like, this channel was was ever a thing on its own like it was always part of something else something bigger something meaningful and that's kind of nice even though you know like i'm just i'm just a guy sitting in front of a camera you know i'm, I'm barely even making videos i'm just having a conversation with myself and recording it so anyway i uh, did want to do this video not only to like sort of demonstrate that actually yes like all of these services now are being in shitified because you know it's not like even YouTube's the only place to put videos now. Like you've got everywhere, not just TikTok, but you've got Instagram, you've got Facebook, you've got all these places that are desperate for video. And um, at the end of the day, I want I want to put my videos where where it feels like home, and and that's the Fediverse. So there we go. So thank you very much, folks of the Fediverse, for for joining me today. Thank you, folks at YouTube. Um, and uh, and and I think like probably you know ongoing. Uh, I'm going to be making content for the Fediverse first, and then if it's applicable to to, to YouTube, I might I might sort of copy it across, I guess. But I think now, you know, it, this channel has gone from you know being a YouTube channel that gets mirrored on the Fediverse to to the other way around. I think it's about time. Um, but let me know how like your your feelings on YouTube these days. There's a number of ways that you can um, that you can like engage with YouTube. There's uh, New Pipe which is the uh, app, which is a free and open source app for your phone that does allow you to subscribe to PeerTube channels as well. Uh, it also um, There's also FreeTube, FreeTube, which whilst you cannot subscribe to PeerTube channels as of yet, it does work pretty well with YouTube. Uh, and that's kind of cool. Um, and of course, there's like, you, you know, you've got Invidious and countless other ways. So there's all that. So, uh, but yeah. Uh, don't forget to check me out on the Fediverse then if you haven't already. And uh, thank you very much for, for watching. And until next time, I've been Chris Ware and you've been awesome. Toodaloo.